about your music, about your image, about your social media sites and all your pages. We can help you so much really get your sound out there. You are now listening to the BV Mobile Apps Podcast. The show is designed to help you grow your mobile app audience and get advice from experts in your industry. Now, here's your host. Sean Garvey. Hey, what's going on, family? It's the architect himself, Sean Garvey, the host of BV Mobile Apps Podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in to this edition of the podcast. We hope you enjoyed it. Now, if you want to learn more information about BV Mobile Apps, or if you are in the market of getting your app customized, what are you waiting for? Go to their website right now, bvmobileapps.com. That's bvmobileapps with an S at the end, dot com. Get your app customized today bvmobileapps.com this special edition of the show is a continuation of the chopped and screw movement on the telephone lines i have a professional who is going to talk to us about how the chopped and screw sound can be beneficial to you as an artist and how it can make your music grow and get to the next level he is based out of houston texas and he is expanding all around the world, not just across America, but all around the world. And he is doing major things in the Chopped and Screw movement. I have the CEO of Slab All Stars, DJ Triple Six, on the telephone line. Hey, good day, DJ Triple Six. How's it going? Hey, man, how's it going? I'm well. How about yourself? Hey, man, I am doing good, and I am so glad to... Uh, be a part of this continuation of the Chopped and Screw movement and to have you on the phone lines to give expert advice to up-and-coming rising stars on how they can get involved and how they can take their music to the next level. I want to begin the interview by asking you, how did you get the stage name DJ Triple Six? Where did that come from? Uh, Growing up, I was actually really really inspired by 3-6 Mafia. Uh, back then, they went by Triple Six Mafia, and they were really into chopped culture as well. And uh, I thought it would be really appropriate to kind of stick to my roots because they were kind of the artists that introduced me to chop. And Triple Six is just sounded so sick, you know what I mean? So I thought, like, in honor of them, to keep it going, keep the Triple Six legacy alive. And basically, it's in honor of them. And it's so interesting that you brought. 3-6 Mafia to the table in this discussion, I've always felt that groups and artists like 666 Mafia brought a very unique sound to hip-hop, to the music industry. Whoever knew that 666 Mafia or 3-6 Mafia would go on to win an Oscar for that song, It's Hard Out Here for a Pimp from Hustle and Flow back in 2004-2005. Um, so we, yeah. yeah, so we've seen a lot of great things, a lot of, uh, monumental things happening from artists, from triple six, especially from the chopped and screw movement. Now, let me ask you this, like for those that are familiar or somewhat familiar with chopped and screw movement or with the chopped and screw sound, what does chopped and screw mean to you as a DJ? Chop the Screw, to to me as a DJ, is a very unique sound. Uh, it showcases it showcases high levels of DJ skill, um, such as like one-click flare orbit scratches and, uh, you know, a lot of fader techniques. You're always on that fader. Um, just to me, it demonstrates a high level of DJ skill. Um, it's also also with like a, an amazing sound. Um, really, it's it's, a, it's like a showcase of the, the the most extreme DJ skill to me. And uh, overall, I just think it's it's an amazing sound in general too. Now, how did you get involved in the chopped and screw movement yourself? Well, I actually uh, i I acquired uh, a copy of Bruce Dixponsi, The Unbreakables. A uh, long time ago, I can't even remember how many years ago, way over 10 years ago. And uh, I love the sound of it. You know, we're just all smoked out one day. Uh, I live in a legal state, so it's, it's completely legal. And we're all sitting around smoking, and I thought it had an amazing sound and became obsessed with it. And uh, then one day I got on my laptop, 
this was at the very beginning, and I ended up getting some bootleg copies of Virtual DJ, FL Studio, programs like that. Mm-hmm. I just began experimenting with it uh, because I was just so influenced by it. I felt like I had something to contribute to it. Uh, really, I, I I mean, I was terrible, but, uh, you know, we all got to start somewhere. And it was basically just from that, my, my sister's boyfriend was a real real tech kind of guy on computers. He got me this program, and I just hit the ground running and started experimenting with it. Um, overall, just super influenced by it. Can you expound a little bit about the program that you used to help create that sound? What, what program did you use? Uh, now I use the Serato DJ Pro. Uh, one of the top programs in the world. Um, any professional DJ nowadays, most likely you're going to see them using Serato. Mm-hmm. Back then, it was Virtual DJ, which is still <clears throat> is still a major contributor to the DJ game. But Serato, in my opinion, is, is hands down number one. Uh, Serato, they have multiple different programs. They have Serato Pro, Serato Lite, uh, Serato Mobile. Um, I just go with straight up Serato Pro. Uh, it's got the best features overall. It's got a great, great tempo range, great sound, um, super high quality, just a great program overall. Is that a particular program you would recommend to a beginner or to someone who is a little bit more advanced? I would say it's definitely more advanced, um, especially with it being a pro version. I would say for a beginner to definitely probably start with virtual DJ, um, it's a lot more user friendly, more simple layout. I would say start with virtual DJ, work your way up, uh, because once you have a basic understanding of you know your looping and how your faders and controls work, things of that nature, you can go on to Serato and get some turntables and things of that nature. But when we talk about chop and screw movement, we also the the other artists that come to people's minds like myself is you know your mike jones your slim thug um even paul wall a few others to just name i mean we can go on and on and on because it's such a large list um do those artists come to your mind as well whenever you are making that chop and screw sound and and are and are there instrumental to you in your music career just as much as three six mafia I mean, I would say they're, they're some of the forerunners of sound themselves. Uh, being from Houston, I mean, if you listen to their music, they're always talking about Screw himself, DJ Screw, Robert Earl Davis. They're talking about the sound, chopping Screw. They're talking about it all. Um, I, yeah, I would say they're definitely very, very influential to me and probably a lot of people for chopping Screw. And it's actually funny you guys mentioned Mike Jones because we are actually working with him right now and we're also working with Big Pokey of SUC, uh, and they are the originators. Uh, we're working with them on a very Houston-style track right now. But yeah, definitely overall, I would say they are heavy hitters when it comes to sound, chops and screws overall. Now, let's talk about your brand, your click or crew, however you want to call it, the Slab All-Stars. Uh, yeah. what what does it take to create an organization like the Slab All-Stars, first and foremost? What does it take? Uh, it took a lot of groundwork. And, um, I mean, for me, myself, it took about 10 years of constant grinding, getting my name out there. To create it, we needed to build a platform we had to build a platform overall. We had to build something that was ours, something that we could put our music on, something that we could get out there, you know, our sound and our image. Um, and that's where Slaughterhouse Radio come in. I was originally part of Slaughterhouse Radio, and I still am. I'm the main DJ for them. And I approached my manager with this idea of Slab All Stars, and he told me to run with it. And it took a lot of work, a lot of grinding. Uh, we looked all around for, for the top screw DJs out there. You name it, YouTube, SoundCloud, Audio Mac, Apple Music. We searched everywhere for the names that seemed to pop up the most. 
majority of it seemed to be recruitment, recruiting these DJs and just getting the name out and showing them who we were. A lot of, a lot of hard work, dedication, a lot of long nights, a lot of long nights. Now, the Slab All-Stars, uh, who all is a part of this conglomerate organization? We have DJs worldwide. Uh, we have about 18 right now. And for the life of me, sometimes I can't even remember everybody's names, but I'm going to try to do my best right now. <laughs> uh, we have myself, DJ Triple Six. We have my co-leader and co-owner, DJ Live Evil. I'm going to spoke to him. We have DJ Scissor, DJ Slowpoke, DJ Cigarello, uh, DJ 303, Abstract Cutter. Cool, man, there's a lot. Um, mm. That's what I mean, there's so many, I forget all their names sometimes. Mm. Uh, DJ, DJ Anonymous, DJ Jason. See, there's so many, I can't even remember all of them right now. <laughs> Here, let me, uh, let me pull up my phone and I can, I can read their names. Right okay. In order. I got to save all their logos right in my gallery. <laughs> so we have DJ Chuck, DJ Chuck, the Screw Pain, DJ Delosky, DJ Baby Boy, F was F up, myself, DJ Triple Six, DJ Red Rum, DJ Live Evil, DJ Scissor, Abstract Cutter, DJ 303, DJ Diamond Ring, DJ Spank Rogers, DJ Cigarillo, and DJ J Punt. It's, it's hard to keep track of, as you can see. Yeah. So if you has there ever been a situation where you got up on stage and you may have accepted an award or some type of recognition for what you do and you got to do your shout outs, you got to do your thank yous. Has there ever been a situation where you may accidentally forgot one of those DJ names and they felt some type of way about it? I mean, I've definitely forgotten names several times, as you mentioned, and especially during awards or interviews, of things of that nature. Uh, they never feel any type of way, you know, we go on to uh, rectify if there's any type of hard situation. I do my absolute best, though, to, like in this case, have my phone near me so I can pull up the list as, as quick as possible because everybody deserves their credit. And, you know, this isn't just me. I wouldn't be here without all of these people, you know, all of these people. They, they mean so much to me. And, of course, my manager, Vic New. Kevin Solomon at Slaughterhouse Radio, a huge debt to him as well because, I mean, he was the original builder of a lot of these platforms and, you know, to this day we're still partners and he is my right hand when it comes to Slab All-Stars. DJ Triple Six, this is a great segue to talk about those artists that are listening to us on how we can take their music to the next level. I want you to explain to our listeners how does the chop and screw sound or the music, how how can that particular sound take that person's music to the next level? Oh, absolutely. Um, well, first and foremost, our two radio stations are actually number one award-winning hottest in the streets for the underground. So we do for the underground artists what these big radio stations and these mainstream radio stations are doing for the mainstream artists. So first and foremost, them coming to us, we're going to put them on worldwide, every every country, every country. It doesn't matter where you are. Thanks to BV Mobile App, people are listening to you 24 hours a day. We have an amazing platform with some amazing people to help you and really get your sound out there. And Screw is worldwide. It really... It takes your music to the next level because, I mean, there, there's so many variations of it and, and so many skill techniques that the original song you recorded, let's say it's getting a type and it, you know, it's running, it's got its momentum, it's doing great on Apple, it's hitting all the charts and everything. Mm. And then we chop it. That offers a completely new version of the song that already has so much popularity. You can target people again with this amazing remix of the same song, but it sounds completely different. So really, you're getting double the bang for your buck. You're taking something you already created, and you can redistribute it again at an insane level. And we can, what's great, like I mentioned, because we're partnered with the EV Mobile app, we can directly target these people right off our mobile app. We can send them push notifications about you 
about your music, about your image, about your social media sites and all your pages. We can help you so much really get your sound out there. And that is why we are one of the top contributors, especially in the chopped and screwed industry, because there's really no one else doing what we're doing except Chop Stars. Shout out to Chop Stars. I'm also a former Chop Stars DJ. Mm-hmm. But yeah, overall, nobody's just nobody's doing what we're doing. And that's why we're so good at what we do. And we can really get your sound out there. Um, do you all handle artist development for younger or for new artists coming into the game? Or should they already have that down packed before coming to you guys? I mean, overall, we we prefer if they have at least the base knowledge. Um, but that's what's great about us too. We will we will help them and mentor them and show them things. So skill skill levels of any range. You could be an expert, you know, at rapping or singing or whatever it is you do, or you could be a beginner and come to us, and you know, we will help guide you. So overall, any any skill level, it doesn't matter if it's your Hopefully it's not your first day, but it doesn't matter if it's your first day or your 1,000th day. I mean, overall, we will, we're will we there for anybody, take them in any direction they need. Now, let's talk about the traveling aspect when it comes to going around to different places across the country or around the world, especially when you travel with the Slab All-Star DJs and artists. Um how do you go about putting together a travel budget to make sure that everything stays in line financially when you all go out to perform and to do what you guys love to do? How do you stay in line with the budgeting aspect as far as, as traveling goes? This is a great question. Uh, for the most part, uh, another shout out to my manager. He's really good with the budgeting and overall finances. Of, uh, we need to take this much money and put it here, or this much money and put it here. Uh, run an ad campaign over here. Uh, myself, my co-leader, and my manager definitely. We all put our heads together, and when we do, we come up with some great things. I mean, end of the day, there's always going to be un- you know unforeseen things that come up. Uh, you know, say you're out touring and you know, you break down, you know, you're stuck out there. You know, that's some money that's going to have to come out that you didn't plan on. So I would say always have, you know, a cushion, a little extra backup for sure. Traveling is expensive, and, but it is the most fun experience of your entire life. Like being out there with the DJs mm-hmm. and your team, like there's no better feeling. It's like a party 24-7, and at the end of the day, you're getting paid for it, you know what I mean? Um, overall, just a lot of planning. It's basically like running a house. You know what I mean? You sit down, you write a budget, put your put your expenditures here, some over here, um, and overall, just have a really solid plan. And try to plan out anything that's going to come up, accidents, unforeseen things. Uh, maybe you'll stay an extra an extra night at this place, uh, food, um, and you know, make sure everybody's contributing too. We try to make sure everybody's bringing something to the table especially if we're out on tour you know bring your own money of course but uh yeah now let me ask you this as far as traveling goes um so there's a young dj or an artist that is wondering well how long do i have to be away from my family to go out and perform or, you know, if I'm a part of the Slab All-Stars organization, how long are we talking about, DJ Triple Six? Like, are we talking about weeks, months, almost a year? How far does one have to be away from their family to travel abroad, especially with the Slab All-Stars organization? It could be a short tour, and you know, we have a couple cities booked to where you know we're only going to two or three places. So it could be short, just a couple of weeks, because we really try to you know make sure each venue is within a couple of days of each other. That way, you're not sitting around for a week. Uh, or it could be you know the the entire summer it could be a few months because I mean that's where that's where any artist is making that's where any artist is making 
majority of their money is out on tour. That's the ideal place to be. So the longer you're out there, the more money you're making. But at the same time, you're also spending money. So it can definitely range, to answer your question. It could be a couple weeks to a couple months. Unless uh, we have a very, very big budget, you know, we really try to plan accordingly for it and try to only do a couple shows at a time, go back home, because, I mean, we all got family at home at the end of the day. But uh, I, I would say definitely next summer, people could plan on a, a really long tour, a really long one. What advice would you give to a artist or a DJ who is out on the road performing? What are the do's and do nots? Uh, you spoke about summer. Uh, that's where that's the time of the year a lot of DJs and artists make their money. But I've heard so many stories of what uh, DJs and artists could end up getting themselves into, uh, especially when they are around so many people, it, it can land them on the news or something. You know what I mean? So, like, what are the do's and do nots when traveling as an artist or a DJ? Uh, my, my number one big thing for the do's and do nots would be you're your own worst critic, but don't be too hard on yourself. Uh, you know, some un, like I said, unforeseen things can't always plan for everything say you go out there and you have a great set but your program freezes up or there, there's a, a lag and it glitches you know um, just because you had that one bad moment don't let it ruin your whole tour don't let it ruin everything you know uh, for the most part audiences are pretty understanding especially live performances they know a lot of things can go wrong and just don't be too hard on yourself don't be too critical of your work uh, definitely don't go out and party too hard the night before and ruin your show by being all messed up. That's, I've seen a lot of times these days can't perform because, you know, they're so messed up from the night before. Oh, man, I got such a hangover, you know, and things of that nature. Um, definitely when you're on tour, uh, use protection if there's groupies because there usually is. Definitely do that. Don't blow all your money because, I mean, that party lifestyle, like I was saying, it can feel like party 24-7. Don't go out there and blow all your money because you're having the time of your life. A big do would be remember at the end of the day, this is work. This is your job. You know what I'm saying? So you don't want to embarrass yourself, get too messed up, do something stupid like you were saying, end up on the news. You don't want to ruin your reputation while you're out having the time of your life, hard as that can be. So definitely my biggest recommendation is not avoid temptation, but manage temptation properly because there's going to be a lot of temptation and you're going to be very susceptible to it now dj triple six i know you gotta go and we only have a few minutes left right here on the bb mobile's podcast but i want to piggyback on the on part of the conversation regarding chop and screw because this is what it's all about we want to help artists and djs take their music to the next level with the chop and screw sound uh right now it's it most it's mostly about the trap sound, um, the the trap music we hear it all the time on radio. Uh, we listen we listen to it on our phones a lot. Whether it's the artists or we hear the trap beats, how can one artist survive under the chop and screw sound and compete with or against? the other artists that are bringing that trap sound to the music industry? That's a great question. And it's taken me a majority of my career to, to figure that out. You got to constantly be pushing product out. You're not, you're not going to get paid for every single mix. You know, uh, you got to constantly be pushing product out there to survive. You got to keep people's attention and definitely be versatile. You know, so say, of course, everybody's got their, their personal preference to music. You know what I mean? Mine is rap for the most part. Uh, sometimes my manager will suggest R&B or even some type of alternative music. My advice to really survive against the competition, especially these big teams, is to be versatile. Go outside your comfort range of music you would normally pick. Try to find, look at what's trending, what people are into. Be versatile. 
constantly be pushing new product out and really make sure it is the absolute best work you can put out. Do not rush anything because that is the number one thing I see Screw DJs doing. Is they rush these products out and they're absolutely garbage. No offense to anybody. They just rush these products out because they're trying to do what I'm saying and keep creating content, but it's terrible content. Mm-hmm. So be versatile, be consistent, steady pushing, and always, always make sure you're absolutely killing yourself DJ Triple Six, we had a lot of stuff to cover, a lot of layers to fill regarding getting the artist's music to go to the next level with the Chop and Screw sound. And, I mean, to this very day, I listen to Chop and Screw music all the time, especially when I'm driving or when I'm at the gym working out. I got to have that Chop and Screw sound. And uh, that I think that is one of the most big things that has helped hip hop go to the next level. So with that being said, you got a lot going on, DJ Triple Six. What's next for DJ Triple Six? Any upcoming projects? Any upcoming events? Oh yeah, uh, we're gonna keep expanding for sure. Overall, as a team, uh, for me personally, there's some great projects coming out. I just got to do a project with Black. Uh, there's also a project coming out with Mortal Technique. Uh, a lot of people are really excited about that one. Uh, and overall, just developing the radio further and giving people brand new content daily. That's my daily struggle is I can't record as much as I, I used to because I'm running a radio station now. Mm. But definitely, they can look forward to this new black tape, the Immortal Technique. We also have the product. That is a great mixtape series, and it is random songs, random artists, some old school, some brand new. Guaranteed, everybody will love it. It is called The Product, and that is a monthly shipment. We ship out a new product every month, and just look for that name, The Product. That is my number one recommendation. Regarding social media, of course, we're going to give our listeners your social handles in just a few moments, but with the marketing on social media, how do you go about marketing the brand and or your product on social media? I like to call it targeting for marketing. Uh, you definitely want to track specific audiences. Uh, for us, of course, it's Chop and Screwed. We want to track fans of Chop and Screwed. You know, we want to track the hashtag series. You know, Chop and Screwed, Screwston, always use your hashtag. Every hashtag you can think of to really target these audiences you can also target them specifically. Let's say, for example, on Facebook, you run an ad campaign for 20 bucks. You can target the whole city of Houston, which is going to be your number one bet for Chop and Screw because that's the city of Screw. So definitely focus on your targeting and focus on the people that are going to want to absorb these ads, people that are going to want to see them. You don't want to target some some group of people that really don't care, you know what I mean? You don't mm-hmm. want to waste your time on on all these people that aren't going to aren't going to be bothered with it. You want to target your specific audience, and that is definitely I think the best advice I can get is just pretend you're the consumer for a minute and think what you'd want to see, where you would be, and things of that nature. And I just got to ask you this before we let you go. How is your chop and screw crew different from all the other chop and screw crews and clicks that are out there? What what makes you different and unique from the others? Absolutely. I would say my sound is different overall because I focus on what chop and screw is supposed to do. It is supposed to it's supposed to trip you out and sound sound just wild. Let's say you're you live in a legal marijuana state smoked out mm-hmm. and you're listening to some chopped and screwed, you want it to really sound trippy, you know what I mean? You want mm-hmm. it to just sound trippy overall. And I would say mine is different in that nature because I focus more on trippy versus the conventional chopped and screwed sound. Don't get me wrong, it's great and I utilize it too. But I have created this hybrid of classic screw sound mixed with a trippy sound to just give you a very unique experience overall. And, of course, you have the app, uh, which is available 
uh, courtesy of BV Mobile Apps, and people can download it, can uh, get it on their phone, and listen to 24-7 music of Chop and Screw songs, Chop and Screw music, and you have, like you mentioned a few times during the interview, you have your own radio station. So I'm going to let you have the floor and talk to the listeners about how they can get the app and, uh, you know, how they can reach you and how they can uh, be a part of the Slab All-Stars movement. Absolutely. And I was waiting to, to definitely say BV Mobile Apps. If you're looking for a mobile app developer, a great platform, you guys definitely want to go with them. They have the absolute best customer service I've ever had. For, and they never have any issues. But let's just say you did have the customer service issue. These guys are great. They know what they're doing. They always get the problem solved in a very, very fast response. You can email them personally. I believe my manager even has Sean's number. They're just great people overall, great platform. And it is so versatile. No matter what platform the music you're on, you can get your music out there being partnered with BV Mobile App. And it is definitely, definitely worth the money. And overall, I just want to say thank you for having me. I've been looking forward to this interview. It's it's good to be to be recognized for sure. And I just want to say much love to my team, my manager, and make sure you guys get our mobile apps. We have two mobile apps. One is Slab All Stars with BV Mobile App. So just type in Chopped and Screwed or Slab All Stars, Slab All Stars on the App Store. You can also get our other mobile app. Slaughterhouse Radio, hashtag T A W S H R, Tosher, T A W S H R. That is also a BV mobile app partner, and we have the mobile app for that on the App Store and Google Play. You can catch both of our stations on either one of the apps, but each app, each app has its own individual content. So definitely get them both. They are both free, no charges ever. We promise. We're 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 very very stuck to delivering you guys free content because at the end of the day who doesn't love free content what do you got to lose and definitely hit us up on our social media facebook twitter and definitely instagram we're always on instagram and twitter our twitter is our bmi track so it's always keeping you up to date every single minute of what's playing on the radio and you can listen to all of it through our bv mobile app slab all stars instagram we're always uploading new pics the new album coming out so many great things to come guys and i want to thank all of our fans and i want to thank you for having me and i say that's about it thank you so much thank you for your time dj triple six of slab all stars i wish you the best and uh, you have given us some valuable information on how artists can take their music to the next level so we really appreciate your time and thank you so much Thank you for tuning in to the BV Mobile Apps Podcast with your host, the architect, Sean Garvey. Now, if you want to go back and listen to all the previous podcasts from BV Mobile Apps, or if you want to learn more information about BV Mobile Apps, including how to customize your own app through BV Mobile Apps, all you have to do is go to the website, bvmobileapps.com. That's bvmobileapps.com. It's a new year. It's a new day, we're starting it over, starting the day. Thank you for listening to the BV Mobile Apps Podcast with your host, Sean Garvey. For more information about BV Mobile Apps, visit the, the website, website. bvmobileapps.com. Don't forget to follow BV Mobile Apps on social media at BV Mobile Apps. Tune in again next time on the BV Mobile Apps Podcast.